everybody welcome to my channel um so today i'm doing the um do i have that book challenge so this one's the one that's been going around bookstagram for a little bit now um and i just thought it would be fun um just kind of like as i get to know me and what i have on my bookshelf um to do the do i have that book challenge so um we're gonna go ahead and get started um so i have my list here so we'll just go down the list. I'm not gonna do this timed just cause I don't do well with time things. Um, so that, that's just me. So we're, we'll just go through it together. Um, so one, a book with deckled edges. Oh, there it is. My dear Hamilton. I know for sure this one has deckled edges. So there it is. Lovely deckled edges. So there's that one, my dear Hamilton. Uh, next one, book with two or more people on the cover. Um, oh, I know exactly what this one is. The Palace Job by Patrick Weeks. Um, all of these ones have more than one person on the cover, so yay! All right, next one. Um, based on another fictional story. Um, oh, I know. The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This one is a retelling of The Prince and the Pauper. Uh, let's see. And title 10 letters long. Uh, oh, um, Air Fire. Air Fire by Sarah J. Mass. 10 letters. Four, two, four. Okay. And let's see. One title starts and ends with the same letter. Uh, oh, easy peasy. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Both starts with G. Uh, let's see what else. Mass market paper. Oh, uh, I have tons of mass market paperbacks. Um, I have all of my Star Wars Legends ones all trade paperback. Um, all of my. Game of Thrones books or trade paperbacks, or mass market paperbacks, sorry. Um, let's see. Characters, name, and title. Well, I have a whole shelf of those, so uh, we'll go with Aru Shaw and the End of Time by Roshani Chokshi. Chok so, not to she for what we're doing. Um, let's see. Book written by an author with a pen name. Uh... The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. His name's not really Dr. Seuss. Um, although this one's actually in Latin. But um, yeah, The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, book with two maps in it. Um, uh, I don't... I know the Throne of Glass ones have one map in them. Um, let's see, maybe the Lord of the Rings does. Um, maybe the Lord of the Rings does not have any maps in it at all. Great, it has like 10,000 appendices. Yeah, no maps. That's a lot. Alright, um... Else. Harry Potter has one map, I think. Her glass has one map. Um, I think the. Shoot. Yeah, I don't think I have any that have any that have two maps in them. All ones I know of have one map. Uh, well, let's see. No, oh, these ones have the Pell ones have one map. Yeah. Yeah, that one only has one map too. Uh yeah, no, I don't I don't have any that have only one map or only have two maps in them. All of the ones I have only have one. Unless we want to like cheat and do an atlas or something. Uh because I'm pretty sure we have an atlas of middle earth that has more than one map in it. Book turned into a TV show. Well, uh I have all of the Outlander books and um all the Game of Thrones ones. Um, well, we could not cheat. Well, let's not cheat. Um, we'll do Full Dark. Also a TV show. 
Uh, so there's my TV show on. Um, book written by someone who is famous for something else. I have a weird one for this one. Um, let's see, where is it? This one. Raptor Red by Bob Baker. He's a paleontologist and he wrote this really weird dinosaur book that's all written from the dinosaur's perspective. It's actually fun. Uh, it's not riveting, but it's fun. I liked it. Uh, let's see. A book with a clock on the cover. Yeah, uh, I don't think I have one. Um, let's see. So we'll just skip over that one. Um, poetry book. Uh, oh, I have lots of poetry books. Let's see. Um... Uh, well, I'm going to have to go over to my other bookshelf that's not in camera. Horace, Latin poetry. Yay! Um, okay. Uh, oh, an award, a book with an award stamp on it. Um, oh, I do know that one for sure. I just finished it. Should we? The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. It has a National Book Award finalist. All right, um, let's see. Book written with, by an author with the same initials as you. Uh, I'm almost positive I don't have one of these. Um, I know that there is actually an author with the same name as me, but I don't have any of her books. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't have any that are the same initials as me. Um, let's see. Book of short stories. Um, let's see. Well, I mean, technically The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass is several novellas, but um, we'll do this one. We'll do... From a certain point of view, um, it is an anthology of Star Wars stories short stories for the 40th anniversary of A New Hope. Okay, and book between 500 and 510 pages. Oh boy. Um, let's just go off my TBR real quick. Um, 540. Yeah, I don't know that I have one with 500 to 510 pages. Um, let's see. Let's move on. Um, turn, book tur that was turned into a movie. Well, um, Harry Potter uh, is the obvious one. Um, Percy Jackson is another one that both been turned into movies. All of the uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. Um, okay, next one. Um, oh, a graphic novel. Um, oh, I have the perfect one. I'll do this one. Adventure Zone by the McElroys. It is a graphic novel of their podcast, The Adventure Zone, which is a D&D podcast. Uh, ooh, I love this one. Um, and written by two or more authors. Um, no Country for Old Gnomes by Delilah Dawson and Kevin Hearn. Two authors. Yay! So I, well, I have almost all of the books on this list. So there's just a quick get to know me and a quick bookshop tour. Thanks for coming. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye!